and that's on period. I'm the one. I'm the one. Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Deandra and we are back with another video. <laughs> oh, okay. And today we are getting into this wig reinstall. And this hair is from Kalani Hair. I did purchase this hair on my own. This video is not sponsored at all. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install your wigs and how to get you a fireball cap. Period. Where? <laughs> Look, I've only installed a wig about a couple times now, but I'm definitely get the hang of this little, you know, melt. We finna melt this thing down to the ground, okay? So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video, okay? Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. Check out my last video, because we dropping videos back to back to back to back to back, okay? So, um, I did record my makeup look too, and that will be in a whole nother video, so definitely stay tuned. But yeah, let's get into this hair. All right, y'all. So I braided my hair down the night before because I didn't want y'all to be seeing me struggle braiding my own hair down. It's, it's just a struggle. So I took some Eco Styler gel to just slick my edges back and all my straight hairs. You want to just like, you know, lay it all down flat before you put the wig cap on. Otherwise, your hair going to be all in the way. So now it's time to put the wig cap on. I got this wig cap from the beauty supply store. It's not the normal wig cap. It's a really thinner wig cap, which helps with your ball caps. Like when you use that thicker wig, wig cap, it's not gonna melt into your skin like you need it to. So just keep that in mind. So now I'm just taking my scissors, cutting out my ear holes, and I did end up pulling the cap, stretching the cap down over my eyelids. So I had to cut out some eye holes too. Now let's mold that cap. I use my regular ghost bond wig glue. You can use your gots to be spray, but I find that the gots to be the gots to be spray does not have the best intentions for my hair. And I learned this cap method from Erica J, and I've been using it ever since. So yeah, let's get into it. So I'm gonna glue it down. Um, you can use however many layers of glue you want. I know I wanted the wig to stay on for a minute. So so I put three layers of glue on the wig cap and you want to dry each layer until it is clear. Please do not add another layer until that previous layer is clear. You don't want it to be white. You don't want it to be half white. You don't want it to be half white, half clear. You want it to be clear, clear. And then you add another layer. And I don't add that much glue. Honestly, it's just a thin layer and I take my little stick and spread it on out you want to spread it out evenly as possible so that it's not all clunked up in one place and it helps it dry extremely faster Now that we got them layers dry, we're gonna go ahead and just seal it on in with our Goss to Be Spray. So I put the Goss to Be Spray on top of the already dried glue. I'm not putting it on top of my real hair, you know? So this is just to go ahead and seal it on in. And I'm spraying across my ear tiles because that's usually where it usually lifts the most at. So yeah, and then just gonna dry that on out. And then this is where we're gonna go ahead with your foundation to set it i personally use a powder but i did not have a powder foundation on hand so i'm gonna show y'all what i did i took um some eyeshadow powder um powder you can use any eyeshadow palette you got that's close to your skin tone this is the crayon case matte book <laughs> yes honey and i just use it to set my glue and to blend my cap in with my skin tone and then i'm going to 
just cut my cap and then I'm going to add some of my stick foundation because I prefer stick foundation. If anything, it's cream. So I'm going to just use my stick foundation to blend it, the blend, blend the top to melt it really into my skin. Um, my wig cap is very much a struggle process for me because the cap don't ever want to come off. So I'm just lifting the cap up and I'm pulling it back so that I can see exactly where I need to cut out. You want to cut off all them straight pieces as much as possible because you want it to be melted. You don't want it to be lifting. We don't do no lifting caps around here, okay? Now that we have all those pieces cut, we can go back in with that same brush that you added that powder foundation or whatever you use. And I'm gonna just blend that over one more time. And now I'm using my Gots To Be Spray to smooth down those extra pieces that I kind of see sticking up. And I'm smoothing it in the opposite direction of the cap. I'm smoothing it towards my forehead so that it really can lay down. If you smooth it back, it's not laying nowhere. You're just gonna pull it up. So now I'm going in with my stick foundation and this is just to really make that spot that's really clear like you can see my hair. I want it to really match my forehead like I want to be like damn is that her forehead or is that her cap? Like, oh, it's a ball cap, honey. I was so excited because this cap was really looking like my forehead. Like you can't even see my forehead and my cap, a difference. But now I'm just going in with a little bit of alcohol on the towel. You can use a cotton pad or whatever. I just want to clean up the spot on my forehead before I add, you know, my wig and my extra glue and whatnot. So at this point, I'm just um, adding some of that powder and that foundation to my lace. You want to make sure that lace matches your ball cap because this is what's going to give you that melt. Like, it makes no sense to put that wig on and you ain't even put nothing on the, on the lace. Like, what the fuck is you doing? Like, what is going to match? Your lace is going to be white, honey. So I'm just measuring it up and making sure it's in the right spot. And then I just pushed it on back. I like to have my cap on my, my wig on my head before I put the glue down because I just, I don't know. It's a preference. You could glue it down and then put the wig on, do you? So now I'm going to add three layers of glue and I'm just smoothing that layer, them la that glue, them layers, that glue on back. And you're going to blow dry them until they are all clear and then we're going to come back and lay our wig. All right, now that all that glue is dry, we're going to go ahead and start putting our wig on the glue. But please do not press your wig down until it is all sized up correctly. Because if you press the wig down into that glue before you have it sized up, you can't pull that shit back up. So I'm, I'm placing it, but I'm not pushing it down yet until it's all nice and sized up. And then I'm going to start placing, pushing I'm going to really start pressing that lace down into it, you know? 
and if you need some assistance just take a rat tail comb or a comb with a back side on it and you can use your fingers you know if you want to get real you know extracurricular around here and you're just gonna press it down and make sure it's like really really stuck together like we want that glue and that lace to be the best of friends all right so now that that cap is like i mean that cap that wig is like kind of dry we're gonna go ahead and part out our edges and i had I already had my edges pre-done because again i did install this wig once before so i'm just going in and parting out the edges that i already really had and cutting them up if cutting them a little bit because they was a little long for me and i'm using some guys to be glue the black glue not the um the regular orange yellowish bottle i'm using the black bottle and i'm just going to lay my edges and then retie it down and do my makeup and i'm gonna be back <laughs> with the final slay because let me tell y'all this face was beat honey okay and don't worry the makeup video will be up too i'm posting the makeup and the hair together so y'all can see it at the same time i did use a little bit of my mousse just to slick back any um straight hairs that may have been sticking out you know well i hate having hairs in my face like i hate straight hairs it's just a really big pet peeve for me you know All right, so now we are back. I did go ahead and take my pins out. Um, I did not like how it really looked. So I'm about to reshape this hair right quick. Um, I'm gonna part it to kind of flatten it out because it was a little too high for me. Like it was giving me real 70s Dolly Parton vibes. And I don't like that. I like a little flatness. So I just took my Style Factor um, styling stick. I think that's what it's called or wax stick, something like that and my little hot comb that i got from amazon and i'm just gonna go ahead and flatten that thing out by section by section and it really helped me like straighten out my curls a little bit because they was just a little too too extra i wanted it to be like real soft glam and it was giving me full broadway like hollywood just giving give me too much okay All right, you guys, so this is basically it. I just went ahead and fixed it a little bit and um, make sure I was covering up whatever tracks was loose and whatnot and straightened it out, fixed my curls, pumped the bad boys out. And then we was looking like a brand new bitch, okay, period. And then I took some of my holding spray. I like to use the holding spray to um, just like set my curls in place, especially if I'm going out all day, you know, you don't want your curls to be dropping because then it's going to look real weird. 
like I don't like curls that drop. And then I used a little bit of mousse on my part to define it. And we was done. If you need to, if your part is not defined enough, you can just take some of your concealer or foundation or whatever it is and just set the and like put it in your part to make it more defined. And this is the final look and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video.